early start at work. We're all being let out at midnight. There's no overtime tonight and there's no work on the weekend. The shop's closed for Easter and the management wants everybody to have some time with their family since we've been working flat out all month long. And I appreciate that. I, I do need a break. I need some time off to take a breather. So Manny and his assistant is at the house as I speak. They are installing the wall tile on the walk-in shower. Manny also came by with the material he's going to use to do a one-piece seat cover inside of the shower. And he's going to use that same material to create a threshold as we go through the bathroom door into the bathroom. And he's also going to use that for what he calls the transom. Or I would call it the threshold or the curb, rather. You know, the part of the shower you step over to get into the shower. He's got the same material to go on top of that. And that gets put in an angle so any water that drips off the door or the shower curtain or the person getting in and out will drain back into the shower and not make its way out onto the floor. So he's going to put, I think he's going to be putting that in today if he's if time permitting, but he does have the material there. So they set up a wet saw on the porch. It's a rainy day and that it is an electric tool, so he wanted to keep it from getting wet, you know, from the rain. Uh, it is a wet saw, but the water that is used uh, is aimed at the blade so that he can keep the blade cool and that also prevents the tiles from chipping or cracking when he's cutting them. So it makes nice straight cuts rather than scoring it and breaking it. That needs a little bit of a ragged edge and you don't want to rat any ragged edges inside of a shower because you know you potentially could put your hands and your feet, you know, you got bare skin up against the tile work. So there's a, a little more effort to round any of the cuts so they're smooth and there's no sharp edges. So he's gonna work on that. For as long as it takes to when he reaches a point where he's ready to take a break so we're looking forward to seeing how that's going to look i'm i stayed out of his work area uh, him and his assistant have a pretty good rapport and they you know they're in the zone and i didn't want to introduce any interruption so i just stayed out of the way so i'll i'll take a look at that when i get home and i'll share that out to everybody you guys can see the progress made today so that's what's that's exciting that that's getting finalized and we're already thinking about uh, some kind of enclosure door uh, to you know top it off at the end once we're all we're all done with the tile work it, i'm doubtful he'll get to the grout stage because all the tile has to dry and then he grouts next so he'll probably be back one more time to do that he did mention he's uh, taking a trip to puerto rico for easter so he'll be gone for a week so any any additional work he doesn't get done this week is going to be a week out. That'll give me a chance to finish the rough out for the vanity plumbing, the toilet flange, and the water supply for the toilet. So I got some stuff to do against that wall. Steve's going to move his stud over for me, so I have a little more wiggle room to put in the hot and, wa hot and cold water supplies for the vanity. So that's much appreciated. Okay, I just got home from work. Manny uh, cleared out all his equipment. Let's have a look. Oh, this came out nice. Wow, look at this. So here's the niche to keep like our stuff. Wow, that came out. It looks a lot deeper than when it first was put in there. So that's where we would put all our soap and our shampoo and scrubbers and stuff like that. Wow, this tile came out nice. There's the little seat so you can sit down and wash your feet. <clears throat> nice. There's the... That's where the shower head will be. Up there and down here is the control for the shower. That'll have a big chrome piece covering up that, that opening. Nice. And these little red things look like spacers to hold the, hold the, the gap before he grouts. Yeah. 
and there's a little chrome uh, that dresses up the edge of the tile. There were no bull nose tiles, so we had to go with this. And then Steve will take the sheetrock mud and tape and make that a nice smooth transition into there. Same on this side. Yeah. It's got the chrome, uh, like a chrome edge. And then Steve will help work with the transition with the sheetrock tape in, in the mud there to make that smooth. All right. This looks really nice. <coughs> So there we are top to bottom. There's the piece of marble on the bottom for the threshold. And there's also one under the door. So I'm not going to leave that alone. I think that has the dry. So I'll look at that right now. This looks really nice. I like it. Let me back up, get an overview between the joists. really nice it came out good and of course we're going to add a door to that and the hardware and the grab bars and the shower head and the control so that still needs to be grouted and dressed up with the hardware